So today we are checking out probably one of the most insane cheat vehicles here in BMG Drive. And folks, we're going to do police chases, drag racing, and we're going to attempt to get these things down the Crash Hard Mountain. So stay tuned to see the results. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, here is the Pessima. It's not too impressive of a car. I mean, it's a nice car, but it's definitely not any sort of speed demon and you won't be escaping the police anytime soon except for now because we're checking out a pack here it's called the tfh customs and folks this specific one is called the track devil this is basically a supercar now actually uh, since i drove it around a little bit i might say i like it a little better than some of the supercars hold on let's hop into it real quick uh check out the interior you can definitely tell uh it's nice and stripped down got some carbon fiber deleted seats and a uh, a big roll cage because you're probably going to need it because this thing can easily reach speeds of 200 plus miles an hour now this isn't the only configuration that's in this pack uh we will be checking out some other track devils uh but i figured we could do some police escape with this thing and i feel like this might be one of the ultimate cheat weapons so today we're doing police escape we're going to be starting here in the city at the pier and we must make it over to our favorite escape point uh the watchtower and let's see how fast we could do this i feel like we're going to absolutely obliterate the police or we're going to obliterate the car into a building uh, one or the other so here we go three two one go look at the acceleration oh my goodness <laughs> why is this a thing uh, uh oh uh wait was that thing getting lift oh my god what what is okay no to self probably not wise holding the track devil wide open did you guys see it getting lift every time it jumped what is wrong with this okay let's try that again all right so maybe we should try to keep it a little bit grounded i haven't tried drifting this thing uh, I feel like it's got a lot of downforce and grip, so it might not drift the best, but oh my goodness, it hooks. It like hooks faster than the Chantilla. Okay, police are angry with me. Oh, folks, if I get over to the highway, it is game over. Uh, the brakes are responsive. Like when you let off, it really, uh, it turns well. Like I don't have any complaints. Uh, no understeer. Uh, this thing is glorious. Uh oh, we're gonna get up to the highway, aren't we? Oh, buddies, it's about to be game over here. But yeah, like I said, I would take this over the scintilla. Like, I feel like it's faster. Uh, check that out. Oh my goodness. And then watch, it just hooks up. I don't know what's in this thing. Uh, I'm afraid to ask, but my goodness, look at the speed. Look at the acceleration. Uh, and it switches lanes really quick and really easy. Uh, we're over 200 miles an hour here. <laughs> Why? This is the ultimate cheat weapon. I mean, if you could control it, like, nothing could stop it. I mean, maybe another track devil could, but that's about it. Oh, that's a that's roadblock. That might be able to stop it. Oh, and, oh, okay. He started turning in on us. Oh, I did not take the right turn off, did I? Okay, well, we still have to escape here. This is just, it's so easy, and the car handles so good. Like, it is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it turns so nice. And uh, I'm absolutely in love with these uh, configurations here. All right, here we go. We're going to take a left here. Just getting the brakes. Uh, brakes are really responsive. Oh, my goodness. I uh, might have hit the curb there, but... Oh, no, we definitely damaged... No, you've got to be kidding me. I'm right there. Hold on. Will it go? Oh, my goodness. Well, we were right there. The turnoff for the, uh, the road is uh, across the street. A um, little embarrassing, but yeah, we got this. Okay, so we're going to do another round with this. So I must say, there are multiple track doubles. I know the Bastion's got one, and the Bolide has a track devil. I can only imagine the speeds on that. I've only tested this one so far, uh, but I imagine if they made the Pessima insane, I can only imagine the Charger... Uh, and the uh, the bowl light they're probably gonna be probably uncontrollable. It's probably gonna be so fast Okay, I got this this time. I know where I'm going. I'm not gonna screw up. Okay, go up this way uh, We're gonna take the turn off behind the toll booths. It'll put us right on the road. We need to be on slow down I want to clip these I do it every time I get through those and I panic last moment Oh, we could finish this with three wheels, right? Uh, maybe oh, I thought it was the right front that's gone. It's the uh, right rear um yeah, it makes it really weird feeling, but no, we got this. Oh, they're coming out of every direction. Yeah, it's fine. I got this. Uh, it doesn't like when I accelerate hard. Oh, that was a... Oh, thank you. The cop just assisted us back over. I thought it was over uh, there, but nope, we have... Uh, we're good. I just got to get up this dirt road with a, a wounded... Oh my goodness, this car does not... Yeah, I think we got more damage. <laughs> 
the right front. Something is wrong with it. All right, well, we made it to the mountain. I'm gonna say that was like worth half a point there, but I don't wanna stick too much on just this version of it. So if we go to uh, our vehicle menu here, now you're gonna notice every uh, special version in this pack has a, a different background. So say we go to, uh, let's go to the Bastion real quick. So you'll notice uh, weird looking backgrounds. Now this isn't the only background they use, but uh, there is a Track Devil and there is a Drag V10. Uh, probably both insane. Uh, I'm hoping the Track Devil makes this car turn because that's the big thing about the Bastion, it's heavy. Uh, oh my goodness. Yep. Oh, yep, that's definitely faster than the Pessima. I don't know what its turning abilities are like. Uh, I mean, it feels like it turns pretty good, actually. Which I think just fixes all the issues I have with this car, as far as it not turning. Now, I'm not complaining about the original car. I like that it's heavy and it slides around a lot, but uh, if you're going to escape... Wait, what is going on? I kind of want to look at the interior. Is there... What's beside me right now? It's like a little... Oh, I guess it's just the uh, center console. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you say we... Oh, you want to race, buddy? You know, I'm so confident we could just drive right off and get to the escape point. I'm I'm gonna make a run real quick down the highway oh dude look at how far back it pitches when i hit the gas so if i go boom uh it's not doing it as bad when i'm already up to speed but it like squats down so hard oh my goodness why why is this this fast yo this is faster than bugatti i think oh uh, can we grip around this corner how oh my okay grip 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 oh! okay so I don't know what's been edited on this particular thing, uh, but there is a insane amount of grip on the tires. And sometimes if you turn too hard, uh, it tries to flip over. Um, yeah, I'm not sure this is so much about police escape, more about, hey, let's just try to survive. I want to say we officially made it up all the way, uh, at least once. So question is, do you guys think the bolide, like, I think it's going to be faster, uh, the track devil version of it. Uh, so we're going to check that out next and then we can, uh, go in and uh, maybe see what other configs they have. I just know these track doubles are insane. There's also others, uh, but I just picked these three particular cars because uh, I feel like they're all pretty different from each other. Uh, all right, here, let's get back up on the highway. Uh, we want to at least run down the right way this time. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? So, is it me? I mean, does anybody else feel like the tires popped off way too easy there? I didn't get hit that hard, and they both just sheared right off. Hmm, I wonder if that has something to do with this particular version. By the way, there's the engine. I'm not even sure the engine's actually different looking. Uh, it doesn't have a supercharger on it. Uh, it's just... It looks kind of insane. All right, you know, let's just go set this over here. Okay, we're going to start from this end of the highway real quick. Just see if we, how quick we can get down the other end with traffic. Oh, my. Oh, okay. So, I think we're starting to see maybe some of the, I don't want to call them issues, but things you really have to get used to. Uh, when you make a high-speed turn in this thing, it becomes a little unpredictable. It tries the two-wheel. So, it's as if the tire grip has been, like, edited or just the amount of downforce. It's like it works really good in a straight line. You know, kind of good when you start to turn, but if you turn too hard, uh, this bad boy wants to flip over. Uh, I wonder if this thing flies if you hit a jump. That's a good question. I mean, we're flying down the highway at 245. I just now noticed there's NOS. Like, why? Do you even need NOS? Does NOS do anything at this point? <laughs> like, come on. Also, uh, props to the engine builders of this because I feel like this thing should explode. Yeah, there's definitely something funny going on. You know, I actually, I like the speed on this one. I don't like this one as much as I like uh, the Pessima. I feel like the Pessima had a balance to it to where it wasn't too insane. Uh, but you know what? Let's keep going with this. Let's go to the Bolide. I mean, we all know the Bolide's a hard to control car anyways. Um, so how fast is this? Uh, it's 245 in the Bastion. What are we going to get with this thing? All right. So I think I've kind of given up on the, the police escape part because these cars, they need more area. They need more places to let their wings spread. All right. Let's test this. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. This is insane so far. Please do not switch lanes in front of me. Okay, what do you think the top speed is? Uh, you know, it's insane, but I'm not quite sure it's up to the Bastion. Hold on. Uh, it's taking a little bit. We're definitely dealing with a much bigger wing and more aero. Also, the tires are going through the front vents. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, my. All right. We've officially broken the world. That isn't as fast as the Bastion. 
I'm actually really surprised by that. Like, I figured this was gonna be the fastest one. All right, so here's a question. Does the Chintilla have a track devil? I, I kind of feel like it does. Oh my goodness, it does. Wait, what do you, how does this work? Uh, oh my, look at the fender flares. You got the gigantic splitter on it. Uh, big old wing. What, what's the interior look like? Interior doesn't look that different from like the normal race car versions. Uh, you got the deleted seat over there to the side. Okay, well, what kind of speed do you think this thing's got? You know what, let's activate the NOS on this. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make at these speeds, uh, but there we go, we've sprayed it. So can we break the 245 barrier? I, I know we have a ton more, what? Okay, that big wing could barely keep this on the ground. Oh my, we're already up to, t okay. I don't think it's much faster as far as the top speed, but what was the zero to 60 on this? Like, I feel like you might would have snapped your neck if you would have gassed this thing fully. Oh my goodness, dude, it's got grip. Oh, does it have the weird flip over though? Uh, no, it don't. Oh. So, you know what, this is the ultimate version. Uh, definitely, like, the Pessima was faster by far uh, than, like, the stock uh, Scintilla, but this thing, it has the grip. It's got a little bit of a weird, funky, like, jump whenever you gas it initially, but once it plants itself back on the ground, it doesn't do the weird flipping or tipping over that the Bastion does. Uh, this has pretty good amounts of grip. Like, uh, I would say if you had a wheel and you had, like, a, a permanent road course or something, like, you could definitely uh, do some damage and definitely break some records with this. This is cool looking. This might be the one thing that if you were to drag race this, uh, you'd have to let off. Oh, okay, yeah, we're definitely going too fast. Yeah, when you gas this thing, it lifts, like it jumps. Like, does it do damage to it when it does that? <laughs> yeah, if you are drag racing this, you'd probably have to just let off a little bit. I mean, honestly, do we think it's faster than the Super Sport? I, I think it is. I think the acceleration is definitely there. I think it's just trying to actually put that power down. Uh, well, we all know the drag strip's got a little bit more grip. Maybe we should head over there. This isn't even fair for police chases. Like, I, no way. Like, you, you might as well not even do it. I mean, besides you crashing yourself, there's no way a police car catches you. So we're going against the Super Sport 610. It's over 2,000 horsepower, and it's eliminated a lot of the aero devices that way uh, it's just max uh, top speed opposed to turning so i want to see how this thing fares i know i'm gonna jump as soon as i hit the gas but it's a question of can we manage that uh, oh man it's even hard to stage this it just it wants to go like it's insane all right here we go and oh here we go oh my goodness yep oh on can we catch it look at that i just jumped and we caught it and passed it oh my goodness I was able to launch myself, get back on the ground, hit the gas, and beat the Bugatti. Oh my. Uh, yeah, I don't think it really gets faster. Uh, I'm gonna try to get like a decent, just normal jump here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it just, it does that. Oh my goodness. How fast it goes through the gears. Yep. That is definitely a monster. So I saw some other like versions, uh, some drag stuff. We all know the track de uh, devils are just basically cheat cars. Uh, so what else do we have here? So there's a new Bugatti race car. I was actually kind of curious about the Bastion, the B10 uh, drag car, because I feel like this, oh, that's nice looking. Hold on, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing up to the line. Uh, does it have the ridiculous speed? I, I feel like anything like under the, the uh, track devil is probably not gonna feel fast. I mean, this thing looks fast. Dude, look at those back tires there. Extremely wide boys, got the big willy bar on the back. Um, pretty much minimal arrow. I would probably rip off that back wing, but here we go. Let's try this one out. Uh, let's go into manual here and go. Okay, I mean, it stays planet. Uh, oh my goodness. Wow, okay, that accelerated up really quick. Yeah, I would say that was a that was pretty insane. Like I said, anything other than the track double right now, it kind of feels slow, but uh, I guarantee that was faster than most of the drag cars in the game. So we've tested the drag devil on the streets. What if we were to go to the crash hard mountain? What kind of speed do you think they would get? Do you think the AI could even handle these things? Uh, I say let's do a track devil race. So here we are with the track devil. I don't know if the AI can even handle this thing. We're on the crash hard mountain. Uh, we're just gonna attempt to survive here. All right, we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Okay, they didn't. Oh. <laughs> Wait, 
How are they managing the throttle uh, that well? Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, they're just, they're gone. Oh, wait, they're, wait. Did one of them just take off? I know I just took off, but there's literally, hold on. There's one flying right now. What? What? How does that even, how does that work? This is the weirdest vehicle I think I've ever experienced. Okay, let me see if I can get down real quick. Uh, can I catch the other AI that have already flown down? I think some of the AIs are actually getting down, which is, why do I do that and they don't do that? There's like such an extreme amount of downforce, you can't get beyond the fountain. It breaks the car. Hold on, let's start here. Let's see if I can, wait, what happens over the jump? Uh, you know what? I wanna see if anybody made it down. That'd be even a bigger miracle. Uh, so we found a car that's too good at doing things and makes it to where you can't do certain things. Like, it's way too fast, it's got too much downforce, too much grip, and it makes it to where you can't even, like, <laughs> run downhill or anything. Wait, did anybody make it? Uh, everybody's, like, broken in half. Uh, there's one there. Uh, <laughs> I think we can confirm that nobody survived this. It's too good. <laughs> That's what it is. So I got one last test. If we were to throw this down, wait, did one of them land down? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm at the bridge. Uh, that's the top of the mountain. This car fell from like up there. Uh, it's impressive. What does this do on a bridge? So, oh my. Yeah, we saw that either it takes off up or goes straight down, depending on how the air catches it. So what's it gonna do when you hit a br Oh my goodness. Why is it doing that? Why, why are we doing this? Okay. Uh, oh, we, we stuck to that. All right, wait, the bridge is coming. Here we go, jump. Oh my God. <laughs> we had way more than enough speed to clear that. It just went down instantly because of the bridge. Yeah, yep, that's, that's just a thing. I, I don't even know how to explain this car. But if you guys want to download it, I'll have it linked down in the description.